What's up, YouTube? It's episode 4. I know it's been a while since I've introduced a new episode, but I finally got a guest star for you. I'd like to introduce my Russian friend, Poet. Hello, comrades. This is my Russian friend, Poet. He came all the way from Russia. Yes. It's very cold. Very warm here compared to it. I Russia. know. It must have been very different for you back home. Yes. Very cold. No television. And I've been introduced to what you call a webcam. It's a very mesmerizing technology. <laughs> And I've been immersed in it so well that I just had to come over here and attend this webcam show. Thank you, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you for being on the show with us. Anytime. Anyway, in honor of my new friend being on the show, we'd like to sponsor ourselves. Today, our show is sponsored by the Russian Pig. What? You call this a Russian Pig? Is it, uh, well, maybe baby Russian Pig. Maybe baby. <laughs> but it's still inspiring. I missed my home country. It's still very inspiring. We're glad you feel that way with us. Alright, alright. Just continue all on right. before I... <laughs> okay, so Poet's going to talk to you guys about Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, anyways. Bioshock Infinite, the third game from the Bioshock series... They bring, instead of having it based on a city in Rapture, it is based in a different city floating above the in, uh, floating above Earth. As we speak, well, not floating above Earth, but I'm Russia, just get over it. <laughs> Anyways, it's a, a city floating above the ocean now. Instead of having a city on the ocean or under the ocean, they have a city floating above the ocean. And as far as I know, from what I've seen so far, there are no people whatsoever in these floating cities. You just rock around with a sniper rifle and you just see a bunch of statues and people and like floating clock towers. So does that mean the fourth game's going to take in space? I have no idea, but I just don't understand how they have that kind of technology back in like the 70s. I know. It makes no sense whatsoever. I know. And I just want to go back to Russia. Okay, next... Let me go and pack my bags. Okay, while he's doing whatever he does, our next topic is Elder Scrolls Scrim. Yeah, I hear it's a pretty amazing game. It's the sequel to Elder Scrolls Oblivion, which I may rent that as soon as I get Assassin's Creed. Revelations. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Slim Jim, very good snack. Very, very good American snack. Anyway, MW3. I know it's a week late, ladies oh, oh, and gentlemen. Let, let me do this one. Let me do this one. I like this one. All right. Modern Warfare 3. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Amazing campaign. Just let me tell you one more thing about it, though. All those people... Whatever people have said that people are coming back or people are dying, some of it's true, some of it's false. You And if you don't play the campaign, oh well, everyone dies. Just simple as that. No, I'm kidding. I really don't know, but anyways. I actually got mad when I played the one level and I had to open the door for the president and then Macross standing and he grabs me and shoots you again. I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh, oh no, uh, not, not again. That's twice in a game that guy's... Grabbed me and shot me in the face. And then just... I die. You can't run away. You can't get away. Nope. Okay. So, I guess our movie for today is... Tower Heist. Duh. It's got Ben Stiller and Eddie Murphy. Apparently... I think God is contacting us. Okay. No, Apparently... Well... Apparently some, their boss screws them over and, like, steals all their money for their, like, retirement or funding or something. Duh, duh. Reminds me of Russia. Explosions it's... everywhere. Men fighting over money. Men fighting over women. Good times. Good times. Continue on. Anyway. 
Yeah, so Ben Stiller, apparently Eddie Murphy's character is a long-lost friend of the Ben Stiller character. And he enlists his help after he just got out of jail. Why, if you got just that got out of jail, why would you help somebody steal money from somebody? Doesn't make any sense. But, you all know, Eddie Murphy, he's pretty good. Though, I don't know why he resigned from hosting the Oscars. That would have been hilarious. I would have watched the Oscars then. But now I won't. What are the Oscars? It's when actors get awards for, like, being in a good movie or something. Oh. I don't watch them, because oh. half the time it's the Twilight people. It's okay if I say I feel stupid now. It's okay. I feel stupid. We won't laugh at you. Let me go cry in my corner with my Slim Jims. <laughs> okay. Question mark. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, Assassin's Creed. The fourth, or like 3.2, or I don't know. Game, games just get really complicated when you get to like fourth. Some people say it's like three point something, some say it's four. I'm gonna call it four. So Assassin's Creed Revelations. Ezio is back. Again. He's, he's pretty old in this game. He's like, got gray hair. Yeah, and a beard. Full beard this time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. Anyway. So, not only do you get to play as Ezio out the door, hey, but you also bring back Altair. Mm hmm. In some levels. I'm very excited. So, mark your calendars, YouTube. 11 15, or 11 14 by some other people. If you go to the midnight launch. <laughs> but, anyway. Okay. So, Poet's going to take it over and talk to you about Soul Calibur 5. Alright, comrades. I'm back. Sorry, I had to fix my complexion. Anyways. Soul Calibur 5. The most amazing of the series by far. I have to say, bringing all of the characters from the original series back like they always do. They do it in every game. But the last game, when they brought Star Wars in, just amazing. But, this Soul Calibur is especially special for my friend, my friend and comrade in arms, Skittles here. No, what? See, Skittles was here last time, and he threw me off. I'm still here from Russia, and I'm screwing up all the time now. It's okay. It's I'm screwing just up remember, all the... Just remember, it's Starburst. Oh. All right. Starburst. Starburst, Starburst, Starburst. I have a terrible Russian. Anyways. Soul Calibur 5. The new character in Soul Calibur 5 is Ezio Auditore da Firenze. From the traditional Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. The most amazing games in the world. Compared to what I played in Russia, which was like... Cup and a ball and a string and a... I don't know what else kind of games. like this. We, we cooked skulls and around. We threw bullets at each other. What? Yes. We threw bullets at each other. And sometimes we threw hand grenades. We thought they were fake. <laughs> oh, Papa! <laughs> Alright, I'm back. <laughs> Just go. Okay. So, yes, Ezio Valdatore will be in the new Soul Calibur 5. Fighting. The original cast of Soul Calibur. Pretty much. Yep. Game with swords. That's a revolution fighting game. Okay. Our last subject of the day is going to be the new... Alright, what did I miss? What did I miss? The new Halo Anniversary. 
This is not Halo 4, this is not a sequel, this is a remake of the first original Halo, Combat Evolved. A.K.A. Halo 1. Yeah. So, and to reassure all Halo fans, this will, I think, have Forge and all the other things from all the past Halo games. But, it will... Instead of just using remaking it with the original engine, they're using the Halo Reach engine, and this will include multiplayer maps and possibly online matchmaking. So, yeah. That's right. Okay. And there's also one more thing, YouTube. There may possibly be, in the couple of days of release, Around the 15th, a Jurassic Park game. I'm not 100% sure. Jurassic Park. Yes. Is that that dinosaur game? Yes. The island filled with dinosaurs. Sounds pretty badass to me. I know. Back in Russian country, we fought Siberian wolves. Possibly nothing compared to dinosaurs, but they were pretty Pretty big of beasts. I heard your guys' dogs are hyenas. Hyenas? Mm-hmm. Hyenas are in Africa, you tard! Huh. What are you talking about? Hyenas? I feel disgraced! Disgraced! I'm sorry! <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah, Jurassic <sighs> Park. Look for it. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. <sighs> I'm going to go into all caps rage now. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, bye. bye folks, bye. Now that's what I call Russian war pig. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's just so freaking amazing. I mean, look. Just look.